Hello, beautiful, beautiful black people. I hope that all is well in your world. And, and this day was uh, one of the best days of your life right here on this plantation called America. <clears throat> beautiful, intelligent black people. We are being led by useful idiot, idiots. We are being led by useful idiots. It was useful white racist idiots that came up with the creation of chattel slavery. It was those white racist useful idiots that implemented slavery for 246 years. And after slavery, it was those useful idiots that implemented the Jim Crow laws, the black codes, fake reconstruction, institutional racism, systemic racism, public lynchings, burning black folks alive, destroying all su successful black businesses and black communities. It was those useful white racist idiots back then that, that did all of those atrocities to black folks, to the human race, because black folks are descendants. People that look like me are descendants of the only 100% humans that originated on the continent of Africa. Fact. Unequivocally. Trump is a useful idiot. Lindsey Graham is a youthful idiot. Mitch McConnell is a youthful idiot. Attorney Jim Cameron of the Commonwealth, Commonwealth of Kentucky is a black youthful idiot. Charles Barkley the sportscaster on TNT is now, always has, always has been, and probably always will be a useful idiot. And know this, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters, black folks like Charles Barkley, Shaquille O'Neal, Candace Owens, Jim Cameron, the Attorney General of the Commonwealth of Kentucky, Tim Scott, the U.S. Senator from South Carolina, Daryl Scott, the Minister, Pastor, from Cleveland, Ohio. Jim Jordan, U.S. Congressman from Ohio. Devin Nunez. Bill Barr, Attorney General, is a youthful idiot. Alex Azar of the Trump administration is a youthful idiot. Robert Redfield, director of the CDC, is a useful idiot. Hence is, is why Trump placed him in that position at the CDC. Hence is, is why Trump is so interested 
and supported this nominee for the Supreme Court Justice, Amy Comey, whatever her name is. She is a nutcase. She's one of these religious fanatics. She's a religious fanatic. But she will crawl in bed with Trump. Just like Franklin, Franklin Graham has crawled in bed with Trump. Jerry Falwell Jr. is in bed with Trump. Trump is in bed with Putin and the Russians. Trump is in bed with, with MBS, Saudi Arabia. Candace Owens is a black, useful idiot. Ronald McDaniel of the GOP is a white, racist, youthful idiot. This democracy is being threatened right now on September the 26th of the year 2020 by all of these youthful idiots I just named. This country has been owned and controlled by youthful idiots from the inception of this plantation called America. And the overwhelming majority of those youthful idiots is white folks, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. It's, it is on right now. The fight is on. The competition is on. The chess game is on. And it is patriotism. It is patriotism versus tribalism. It is patriotism versus tribalism. And... Our democracy, equal rights, equal justice, did not happen back then. And it isn't going to happen today unless the American people, black folks, brown folks, and about 25 to 30 percent of the white folks aggregate, organize, and put these white, racist, black, dumb, useful idiots in that place. We must keep our knee on their necks to prevent them from destroying the country and ultimately destroying us, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. It is patriotism versus tribalism. When Joe Biden selected Kamala, Kamala Harris as his running mate, it guaranteed that the presidential campaign would devolve into a mud wrestling grievance match. And that's what we have today. The outcome of this mud wrestling grievance match will depend on how patriotic Americans answer two questions. Will American citizens vote to restore the slow but measurable but measurable, measurable pursuit needed to form a more perfect union? That is what we had 
we had a very slow but measurable pursuit to form a more perfect union out of a sense of patriotism. That is what we had before the era of Trump. The Republican Party has been hoping, praying, waiting for a Trump to come down the pike and lead them to the dictatorship that they have been desiring for the past 60 years plus, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. And we can restore what we had by reestablishing the fact that we are a nation of laws, not men. We are a nation of laws, L-A-W-S, not a nation, not a nation of men like Trump and the Republican Party. Will the real men, will the real men, the real men, leaders of the tribe and those folks that are in power now are a tribe. Will the male leaders, I won't call them men, I will say will the male leaders of the tribe that has been in power since the founding of these United States of America appeal to baseless grievances in order to carry the day. That's what Trump has done since his campaign for the presidency beginning in 2015. He appealed to baseless grievances, fears, hatred of racist white folks. We'll probably need a scorecard to judge this grievance match of Biden slash Harris versus Trump slash Pence for the heart and soul of America. We will need a scorecard. The events that have taken place over the last three years and eight months have created created a climate in which most citizens sense that the decision, the decision will also be a referendum on race and gender in America. Believe you me, no question about it. This election in November of 2020 is also a referendum on race and gender. Further, fair-minded conservatives fair-minded Republicans will need to determine whether the Republican Party dating back to Eisenhower up through Bush is worthy is worthy of saving. Is the Republican Party worthy of saving? I don't think so. Or will these Republicans allow the Republican Party to become the party of white supremacy, believing white men, white boys, whose vision of America does not abide by the one person 
one vote fairness idea that is the foundation bedrock of our democracy my beautiful intelligent black brothers and sisters keep a scorecard before you fill in the scorecard here's one thing that you can make a lot of money by betting on these white racist Republicans will be running on to Fox News nonstop. 24 hour, there will be a 24 hour loop of industrial strength, very strong advertisements implying the N-word, other racial slurs, fear-mongering, fear-mongering, etc., etc. That's what we can expect during the next 38 days. You will hear the N-word more times than was repeated in Quentin Tarantino's movie called Django. In that movie, the N-word was repeated more than 200 times. I do not use the N-word, by the way. And I won't use it here. I grew up in the South. And where I grew up, our family values, our principles, told us that the N-word was always prohibited. That the N-word was always offensive stupid regardless of who is saying it or how the spelling and pronunciation has been altered to make it more acceptable. That's all I have on this one.